wanted to give you this view now on February 5th, 2010 from Guanajuato, Mexico. Um, what makes uh, Guanajuato so unique is the fact that it has all these various tunnels uh, that uh, provide the street system, an underground street system for the city that were originally um, sewers for the city and were later covered over and turned into roads. So it's a very interesting topographical arrangement. You can see we're heading into the tunnel now. Sometimes the tunnels have um, sidewalks and people will be uh, walking there. There's even a bus stop, as you can see here. Um, the other tunnel that we drove through had the cars parked there. Uh, so people in a, in a kind of a small town with limited parking actually need to take advantage of any kind of space that they have and they even use the underground tunnels for parking. You can see images to saints embedded in the wall here. I don't know if you saw that very well, but I tried to give you a shot anyway. But from when would these tunnels be, uh, Suke, roughly? Uh, well, I don't, I don't have the exact date. But okay, uh, but they're maybe a hundred years old or older? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This used to be a river. Yeah, the river is wow. going down, you know, it's kind of below the Oh, the river is still there? Yes, that's right. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's certainly very fascinating here. You have another bus stop right here. And uh, the topography of the city is extremely complicated. You were telling me, Suhei, that out of 10 visitors to the city, 10 of them get lost, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. I'm, I'm already looking forward to having a look at the map to try to orient myself. But it is definitely a very... See here, you see the cars parked right beside the road? So, how does the bus system work here, actually? Is it a pretty good public bus system? Well, the problem with the system is that the, you know, the buses are like way too big. And as you oh, can see, see, we have small, um, you know, streets. Yes, exactly. So, so the buses are too big for the yeah, roads? Too big, yes. Uh -huh. We are still working with, you know, like the, the people that provide the service yes. uh, to, to get a smaller uh, unit. Yeah, exactly. So, so it will be less noise. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. So here we're basically going from one tunnel to the next with uh, little areas in between where the sun comes through. Now you were telling me that Guanajuato also is a big university town. That's correct. We have uh, the third uh, biggest uh, university in Central Mexico. Oh really? Okay. We, we have very important uh, student community. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have the number. We have uh, several faculties and uh, the number of students is very important. Okay. So, a very young community, lots of young people coming in here, which makes for a very vibrant entertainment scene, I would imagine. Right. Tell me a little bit about the bars and the restaurants and the dance clubs here in Guanajuato. Well, one of the, the, the important points in the city is that everything is close by. So uh -huh. You don't need to walk very far to, you know, to find a bar or a nice coffee, coffee shop, downtown area. So uh, whenever you go out, uh, especially, you know, around Thursday, Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. you're able to, to find, uh, you know, a place to go out for a drink or to, you know, to catch help with friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have, um, yeah, like, you know, now to mention uh, one of the specific spots, you can find a galleria. Galleria? Like uh-huh. Club, club. Okay. And another one. Was that the dance club that you mentioned? That's sort of the uh, yeah, dance club for 30 and up? Yeah, that's oh, Okay. Specific. And then we have uh, like a more uh, younger section of the public. Sure. And it's called Capitolio. Uh-huh. Or El Grill. El Grill. Okay. And, Very good. Uh, well, there's also some... Uh, I might oh, take you there a little bit later. Uh -huh. And uh, around the main square in the city, you are able to find uh, like bars and coffee shops. You know, Beautiful. You know, people get together and you know, have some fun. Exactly. No, that's great. I love this ride through town here, but obviously the roads are very, very narrow, so I can imagine how a big full-size bus would have trouble with that. And here on the hill, 
you see that houses come in all shapes and sizes and colors from purple to blue to orange to pink to green you've got all the colors represented right here in Guanajuato which is one of the things that makes this town really uh, special and is this the uh, sort of the main square area? No, no. no we are very close. By the okay. Way. Okay. On your left side, uh -huh. you right won't be now, able to see that. Yeah. But have a statue of Quixote and Sancho Panza. Ah, Don Quixote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, because I was mentioning earlier that Guanajuato is like capital Cervantes. That's right. It's the Cervantes capital of the Americas. And there's a big sculpture, or what is that in the yeah, front there? Yeah, it's very modern, like, uh, modern art. Modern art. Ah, okay. Let show uh, On the past Festival Cervantino, uh -huh. which is one of the most important activities that has uh, one of one. What, what time of year is the Festival Cervantino? It's in October. So every, every year in October. Year. Mm -hmm. And they perform plays, or how does it work? They actually have a very complete program where you can find, like, uh, you know, like, say, uh -huh. or you have a uh, modern or uh, old <laughs> art uh -huh. and uh, they have uh, people coming from almost everywhere in the world yeah. like from dancing companies or um, so lots of international artists that's correct okay great well thank you so much what a lovely place